In this example, we'll be creating a new employee and then we'll, we'll assign a job to the employee and a position. First, we need to log into Oracle applications using our username and password, which has access to human resources. And once we've logged in, we should be in the navigator screen and then we can select people, enter and maintain, which gives us access to the find person screen. From the Find Person screen, we then select a new button which gives us access to the People form which then allows us to create this employee. First, we need to then alter the effective dates. Um, there is a functionality within Oracle HR that allows us to date track back to a specific date. In this instance, we have an employee who was employed who started employment on the 1st of February and today is the 11th of February we need to enter the details retrospectively so to do that we need to select the date track um, functionality via the alter effective date so by selecting alter effective date we're able to change the effective date back to the date that we um, wanted to enter the record for so we date tracking back to the 1st of February in this example. So I used, I'm i using the calendar tool to select the date and then clicking on OK and the OK button now alters my effective date to the 1st of February. I'm going to enter the last name or the surname of the employee which is Harris and then the first name is Tony. Tony Aries is our employee. Select the gender, which is male, and then the action, which is create employment. We then need to select the person type, um, which is employee in this example. I'm going to select OK to confirm the person type for my action. In the social security field, we then need to enter the social security number, which is a nine digit number. I'm just going to make up a number in this instance, and then I'm going to select the um, date of birth to enter the date of birth of the employee. So my date of, date of birth I'm going to use is the 1st of January. 1970 and that will automatically enter the age of the employee. Once I'm satisfied with this record I'm going to save it and then I will then need to select the assignment to assign the employee to a job and a position. I need to select the organization which this employee is going to work in. So in this example is going to be Vision Operations. I can, if I enter part of the fields I can find and then I've got Vision Operations in my selection. Because it's a, rec it's a new record that we're creating, I need to select the button correction to correct existing information I could if I wanted to change some of the employee details as well retrospectively using the date tracking and it uses exactly the same form to do that so in this example I'll select correction I then need to enter the job which is um, is going to be a manager for a materials manager so I've got a job code for that which is MGR 500 dot and then that's my manager 500 manager and the position for that job is in this instance MM 400 and I will accept the default for that position I can if I want to enter the supervisor in this 
example we'll use pat stock um, s t o c k and then we'll just find the supervisor which is pat stock employee number 24 click on ok and we can also enter some additional information for example i want to enter some expense codes that the employee would use in some other modules for example in the i expenses module and also for procurement um, that's found under the purchase order information tab the ledger in which this employee is going to be using is called the vision operations ledger and that's the set of books um, and or the ledger set in in release 12 um, so vision operations and then we'll select the account combination which is the flex field um, department 110 which is the cost center facilities and then I'll select the miscellaneous account which can be changed on entry of the expenses operations account in flex field and we've got the flex field combination there once I'm happy with the information I've entered I can save by clicking on the save button and then I can come out of the form and I've actually created my employee and assigned the position and the job for employee number 100339 Thank you.